Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Proc Jam. Proc Jam's not technically a game jam, it's a jam where you make something that makes something, so there are a lot of things in here that are like, um, I don't know, graphics or generative stories, um, and just other stuff like that. We're going to take a look at each entry um, for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual entries will be in the description, so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you'd like to support the things I do, um, consider supporting me on Patreon, as this video is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me so I can record stuff. All right, next. We're just checking out the page of this. It's a light path guarded area generator for Minecraft. So if you have MC Edit on your Minecraft, um, I don't know how to say this, then you can basically insert this generative code and um, you can then generate some life paths. Um, so after choosing the lots uh, in which the houses and buildings are going to be placed, those lots are connected by a path with an A algorithm. The idea is to put lights along the path so that it can be enlightened during the night. So this is pretty cool. And then it makes these little lights. Lights are nice. That's some bugs <laughs> where lights didn't quite go the right way. I love when people include bugs. And then this also allows you to sort of generate little garden areas, little pathways. House doesn't <laughs> can't have a garden really. Um, which is pretty neat when it comes to building. I'm not very good at layout building in Minecraft. I used to do it quite a bit though. Um, so having sort of generators also can help with like big public servers and getting buildings built, but also with it, but and with people like me who weren't very good at laying out stuff. So yeah, I used to take villages and just copy them, and like like copy the whole area, paste it into a different area, just change out the different materials and delete houses I didn't like. Um, so yeah. Next. We're playing 6am. It has a way longer title after 6am, but it's not on here and I can't remember the entire thing. So, someone stole, it's actually 6 in the morning I think. Someone stole Mayo's cookie. It is up to you to find them. Talk to the characters and use the pull this manual to find out the thief. Left mouse button to move, right mouse button. Um, or Palma button for the police manual. Inside the building, mouse over items. Left mouse button on cabinets to open them. Cool. Let's, let's start. Oh, look at this world. This is a great world. Uh, Alright, it's a four-sided vase. Can I go home now? <laughs> now you gotta talk to the person, don't you? I don't know what this is and I don't want it to either. It's a beautiful cabinet. Strictly no importance. Plants have lies. Okay, a clock and oversized lipstick, a speckled egg. Strictly has plant equals no lies. Okay, so you don't have a plant. Talk. Uh, Bobby G is innocent. Well, you're supposed to be a liar. Do not eat. Do not tamper, please. Alright, let's leave. Who's Bobby Jr.? Let's find Bobby Jr. Are you Bobby Jr.? Yeah, this is Bobby Jr. Talk. I did not steal the cookie. They do have a plant, and a vase, and a horrible cabinet that's got stuff inside. Lipstick, spoon. That's pretty cool. Pear. Alright, so, it looks like you didn't do it. Did this house do it? I think you did it. Let's arrest him. You got the thief. Sheshi stole the cookies. This is cute. I quite like the graphics and like general design of this. Next. This is another tool we're just going to talk about. It's the Quantum Island Generator. It also contains a tutorial on how to use quantum computing for procedural generation, which is really quite a good idea. Um, so if you want to read the tutorial, you can visit separate link to do it. To use the tool, you have to download the, it looks like Jupyter Notebooks, which is pretty funny. And to generate train, you can make an island for mind tests. So it looks like sort of Minecraft inspired graphics. Um, it's quantum computing. I don't really know what quantum community is, but I think it's neat that they've made an island generation tool. Um, and then there's also a game that you can kind of find it in. Just start a game. Let's, let's start the game. Right. So that link that said, um, um, yeah, the link that we just clicked. I'm like failing to talk. Let's well, set it can be found in the game, Quixbox. It brings you to this GitHub post that basically runs you through how to sort of get it working on your computer. It looks like Minecraft. It's a lot of stuff to do for a one minute video, so I'm just showing off the tool basically, and if this is something you're interested in, um, do it. It looks like these escape rooms are pretty in depth. I feel like I'd be stuck there for a while. But that's a neat way to use the tool. Next. We're playing hide and seek. I like Game Boy aesthetic aesthetics. Maps that are in press set. Cool. 
Welcome to hide and seek. Do you like to read the tutorial? Well, I read, I read down there, but sure. Key's sister Abby is hiding somewhere in the woods, down in the description, inside the trees. If you need to make the path, you can cut the trees using Z key. However, if you cut the tree where Abby is hiding, she'll run away and you lose. You can inspect the tree using X key, but if you check too many times, you give a chance to Abby to run away. So choose wisely your actions. Sometimes you will hear a sound higher as the volume near as Abby. If you're lucky enough, you may find a sign that gives you some information, but are they correct? Good luck. Just, just chop it down and inspect the tree. I feel like we expected the tree. And she's not there. Hmm. Hey, you found Evie. Congratulations. Happy end. You found you. Oh, okay, this is very cute. I did read this. I meant to say I read the description, which was the tutorial. I didn't see a sign there. Oh, there's another sign here. No. Oh, I can't move that way because of rock. Oh, it's stuck in that tree. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I didn't even know I was lined up for that one. Oh, I found her. Cool. I was just like doing random trees. Mm, cute game. Next. We're playing Anomalies, a the generative art game. It's a dollar. Alright, so this is a lot of stuff. Let's randomize. And that'll create an anomaly. Press space to toggle. Okay. Is this it? Looks like a weird rock tentacle monster. We can make a new one. I'm gonna randomize it again. Oh, background two, volume five. I want to move closer to it. I'm not sure if movement's like a thing that I can do. It's very far away. To me, it looks like a space station that something's sort of taken over. I quite like the background images for this. And that you can screenshot. There's so much that you can actually um, change around if you want. Movement speed flowers, flower types, the colors of the flowers. This looks like a bunch of blocks. I do wish I knew how to zoom in and out. But I don't. I think I actually am moving closer. I'm holding down W. I wish I moved faster then, I guess is the, the thing I'm looking to say. It's like a bunch of trash, a bunch of blocks all put together. These are really interesting generative aliens. Next. We're checking out palette gen 900 so we can generate different palettes. Let's do this. This is a mono hue and that's sort of... Huh. I don't know what this button does. But I quite like these palettes. Mono seems to make all of the colors way similar. They're all in like the same color family. Whereas not mono, they're not necessarily all in the same color family. I'm not sure what this square and stuff does. I quite like this though. It's great if you want to generate some different palettes to then challenge yourself and use. And I think generating palettes is good, you know, colors, challenges, making pixel art. Or not pixel art, just because it's pixelated, I guess. I like the presentation of it all as well. Next. We're checking out the Notwork Star Generator, so we can pick some different stuff. Skip, I don't know what skips do. Rotation point, let's point it down with generate from params. I don't know, params two. Or do we just hit another? Oh, okay. Mm, these are pretty cool stars. What if we put like eight sides? Okay. That's like one of the throwing stars. This is pretty cool. I don't know what skips are. Point it down maybe. I very much like that's also generating this matching background. I think the matching background's pretty cool. I don't know if any of that's actually changing anything. Um I mean it looks like it is actually now. Oh, that's only got like three sides, so maybe not. Yeah, this is just generating some randomly. I need to put in some prams here or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think that worked actually because I didn't click another. Hmm, it doesn't have 13 sides though. I guess maybe all the background stuff. Unsure. 
Either way, it's very pretty. Next. This is another Twitter bot called Name My Child. It basically gives you names, I guess, um, for your child. Uh, the name Blank Smith might just work, but it also might not. Do you think Miller Light Jackson or Anonymous Scott would work better? I don't think unanim Unanimous Scott would work very well. I thought of the name Babysitter Riley in a dream last night. I woke up and had to write it down before I got uh, before I forgot. I wonder if uh, Babysitter is part of the name. Uh, the name of my crush is Bomber Friedman, which is honestly a good name to use later. I like how it's also generating the last name as if the child won't have your last name. Just thought of two names. The first one is Love Seat Barker, and I forget the second, but the first one is great, so it doesn't matter. You know you're a winner if you name your child Taco Tuesday Rodriguez. <laughs> I'm not sure Unanimous Olsen is on the hot list already, so someone should use that one. The name H2O Garcia might just work, but it might not. I'm sure about that. Am I being weird or could metric system Kerbabas actually work? I'm sure if you could name your kid metric system. It's actually pretty funny. It looks to give about two tweets a day, uh, which isn't very bad. So if you want some funny names for apparently your child, uh, here you go. Next. We're checking out Jellians, which is like Jelly Aliens. This is the first blob Jelly Alien. Oh, this is another one. This is pretty cool. I really like the way these jellyfish aliens look. Um, it uses ProcGen meshes and custom shaders uh, to WebGL export. They didn't have much time this year, but wanted to contribute something. I think this is a great contribution. Look at these monsters that you can create. These would look so cool inside water and just like to play with. Everything that I look at, I think about in terms of games, and I feel that these would be really nice, like a fish tank game where you can feed them and grow your own little jelly monster, because I quite like them. And I quite like the way that they're waving and moving as well, completely animated. This is so nice. Oh, wow. I don't know. I quite like them. I think they're great. I wish I could make something like this. I like how they're all mirrored as well. Like, if you cut them in half, they're half of each other. Does that make sense? Next. We're checking out ZZ Art. So it says to press this dice icon a few times to find a good starting point. Okay, I like this. And then it's like, you can click on some of the generative tiles. That's what I'm doing now. And it'll generate more like that. And then you can save them. Or... I'm gonna enter a seed actually, but uh, cool. You cannot see my seed. Let's do something less rainbow. I know I'm like big into rainbows, but let's do like this. Ooh. Okay. You can kind of see what it generates around them. And you can also save it, or you could go back a couple of them, or forward, or view a close up of like a specific image. That's just darkness that I've clicked on. Um, I guess of the image you've clicked on. So like I can view this and then zoom in. It's a neat art. It's very interesting looking. Look at this. It's static. Next. 